What up guys, your favorite fellow earthling here, Austin Hustler Hires, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about a lawsuit that I started all the way back in January, the beginning of this year, and it still hasn't even finished yet. I don't even know if we are at a midway point, guys. I'm going to give you a little bit of details and updates on the lawsuit, what the lawsuit's about, what it's for, um, why I'm suing the guy, and uh, and we're going to get into you know me trying to pick up my dumpsters. So basically, I'm going to give you a little bit of background. It all started when I rented two 18 cubic yard dumpsters to a gentleman, and he wanted to load uh, construction debris into them. He wanted to load, you know, a drywall, uh, wood from inside the house, and some roofing debris, which is all okay with me. That's all good and dandy. Now, this is what he said he was loading in th into the container, and so as usual, I get paid for the containers up front, and we go and deliver the containers. When we arrive to deliver the containers, I specifically say to the guy, "Hey, you know, I see you're actually knocking down a house here." I want to make sure that we're very clear that there is to be no concrete and no dirt in my dumpsters and we need to keep it below the walls. Also I see that you're using an excavator and we need to make sure that these dumpsters do not get damaged. So the guy continued to tell me, no, 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 it's just going to be like drywall, the, the inside of the house and like the roofing debris. So he reassured me that and he said also I'm really good at using an excavator don't worry about your dumpsters they won't get damaged and that being said you know I finished dropping the dumpsters off I left me and Richard left that day and we basically were having second thoughts about dropping this dumpster off to this guy because we just felt we felt something we felt something about his character that he was lying to us or there was something to be said about um, how big the excavator was compared to our dumpsters. These are not big commercial dumpsters, they're not made to be squashed down, they're not made to be um, really, they're not made to be, dan uh, to be loaded with heavy duty debris. Uh, we just had that feeling, you know, when we left that something was, something was going to happen and uh, so we came back probably two days later he called us and said to come pick up the dumpsters and I came back like always as soon as possible to get the dumpster off the customer's property and when I got there I was pulling in the dumpsters looked you know pretty normal it looked like he had over the top like you know there was a lot of stuff over the top so right off the bat I was like okay well he didn't listen to me on that part and I go to back up to the first dumpster and it was completely squashed into the ground. Like I mean the feet, the wheels, even the hook that, that has to be you know hooked onto our winch to pull it up on the rails. It was all squashed into the ground probably uh, you know the whole, the whole hook. So it's about a four inch hook on the dumpster. The feet are about maybe four inches, five inches tall. Everything was squashed into the ground and even the rails that are supposed to slide onto the, the trailer rails uh, were in the ground. So right off the bat I'm like man this is going to be a really difficult pickup because it's in the dirt and my rails only go so high before they hit the ground and then once they hit the ground you can't really back up much further. Um, I got out and I was pretty upset that they were squashed into the ground that he went over the top. I started to walk around the dumpsters and I started to realize a lot of damage. He had broken the walls, uh, the wooden walls that I had built around it. He broke off some of the metal, the welded brackets that held those wooden walls on. Um, and he had rounded out the center of each dumpster, basically pushed the creases out of it, which is ruining the integrity and breaking welds on my dumpster. And those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, these are 2020 dumpsters. Brand new dumpsters to me. I really pride myself on having nice equipment to drop off to these residential uh, areas and having a dumpster that doesn't look like trash in your driveway. And he completely made these things look like garbage. Not only did he make them look like garbage, he ruined the integrity of them. And I don't have pictures of the second dumpster, 
but the second dumpster had a door that was completely just bent up just basically the whole top of it was ripped off um, and only hanging on by a hinge and and the latch in the middle holding it together so that door that that dumpster was pressed all the way into the ground you know rounded out in the center the wood walls were broken off as well just like the guy just didn't give two shits about how he was loading the container and so he he has this big excavator on the property while i'm there and he's actually moving stuff around and so i walk up to him and i'm like hey what's up dude you know what's up with the damage on these dumpsters he says, oh yeah, you know, I just did, I did a little damage, you know, um, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, you know, you're, you're going to have to pay for the damage on these dumpsters, right? And he says, yeah, yeah, send me, you know, send me the $200 bill or, you know, $300 bill, whatever it's going to be. Send me, you know, a couple hundred dollars and, and I'll take care of the damages. And I'm like, no, 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 dude. I said, this is a lot more than $200, $300, even $500 of damage. These things damn near need to be replaced because you can't have a welder and, and some of you that know about this type of stuff, comment down below if I'm right on this. But when the walls are rounded out on these things, you're basically going to end up replacing all that metal or, or the, the cost that it's going to uh, cost you, the price that it's going to cost you, sorry, to make this dumpster look like what it was when I dropped it off is going to be about the same as buying a brand new dumpster. So I told the dude, this is probably going to be where you have to pay to replace these dumpsters. And he says, no, 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 no. You know, he gets pissed at me and uh, he jumps down off his tractor. He gets in my face. He basically, you know, threatens me like, you know, he's going to kick my ass. And I'm just standing there like, dude, this is not acceptable. And, and I'm not, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to accept this. I said, I'm going to call my lawyer right now. So I'm walking back to my truck as I'm calling my lawyer. He says, well, get that off my property, you know, get off my property. So I said, okay, you know, I can't pick these dumpsters up anyway. I knew it. They were overweight, packed with concrete, packed with dirt. And you guys will see that in these next clips. But, uh, yeah, I could not remove them off the property. I called my lawyer and I hired a lawyer that day. I paid him $2,500 to uh, take care of this case for me and here it's been you know almost five months and we're still working on this case now um, what's going on is the guy that I'm suing is trying to come back at me saying that we we don't have a fictitious name and for those of you that don't know what a fictitious name is that's a that's a, a name besides what you actually have you know on file license so my name is let it go junk removal incorporated ink right and on my invoice it only says let it go junk removal i don't have the ink part so he's trying to get me on not not having a fictitious name license um which which i don't i don't have you know let it go junk removal and uh that maybe that's my mistake but he has something else saying like uh that i that i i am trespassing on his property which i don't get because See, he told me to get off of his property, but then after it was a week or two later, after I started my lawsuit, he had his lawyer send me a piece of paper saying, I have to get the dumpsters off of his property or else they're going to take legal action, right? And I knew, I knew that I could not get these things off of his property with the garbage, with the dirt and the concrete in there. My trailer just won't do it. It won't lift it up. And, um, well, you know, come April which is uh, last, last, wait, where, what are we in? Yeah, uh, this month, the beginning of this month, all right? So, the begin. I'm sorry guys, I'm lost in time right now. It's been a lot, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff going on right now. But basically, the beginning of this month, I really needed those dumpsters. And and we were renting every dumpster we have out. We had junk removals to do. And we had no containers. So I really needed those dumpsters. And the fact that he sent me the letter saying to pick the dumpsters up, I figured, you know, I have I have free reign to go pick the dumpsters up, to, to try and pick the dumpsters up, to do my best, as I always say. And uh, so I go there, 
and well actually first I send um, my two guys out Isaac and Brandon and I appreciate you guys for going out there and trying but they gave it a go and they my Freightliner with a hydraulic 15,000 pound winch could not budge this thing it would not move and so I was I was pretty upset at that the next day um, I decided to go out there on a Sunday Easter Sunday actually and give it a shot myself because being I've done this for a lot longer I know the tricks where I can kind of back under the dumpster and pick up a really heavy load that you're really not supposed to um, by backing underneath it opposed to pulling it on and so I did that I backed underneath it barely I mean this trailer sounded like it was gonna break as I was lifting it up it pulled it picked my tr back into my truck off the ground probably six inches off the ground to a foot <laughs> Look how heavy it is, guys. The truck is lifting off the ground. Yes, sir. And before I was able to get it all the way up onto the, the trailer and then start lowering it down to where some of the weight was coming back down on the back end of my truck and bringing it to the ground. But that still was not enough to give us traction to really pull this thing out. Um, after a while, a lot of finagling, I was able to kind of like get my wife to get in the truck and back up as fast as possible which wasn't really too possible you'll see in the video and slam on the brakes and try to get this stuff out. Okay guys we're here at the site where uh, the guy completely basically destroyed my dumpsters here. Alright stop. Um, this, is, this is one of the dumpsters. Uh, this side's not too bad, but you can see he, he busted out the the uh, side of the dumpster there. He has so much dirt and concrete stuffed in here that uh, this thing's not even dumping right now. It's so tight in there. And, um, you know, the, the trailer barely got this up on there. We have all kinds of footage pulling this thing up. I'm going to have her bust it backwards real quick. You can see this side. He, he completely rounded this side out here. Completely rounded this whole dumpster out and ruined the integrity probably cracked the welds I can see here is lifting off um, more than it should be so he, he ruined this dumpster I mean I don't know what else to say the other one I'll show you here in a second all right try to go backwards put it in reverse and then go as fast as possible and then just hit the brakes all right beauty all right hold on hold on Ah, big ass stick under the truck here. Okay, pull forward nice and slow and get this shit out of here, out of my dumpster. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, try to pull forward nice and slow. Oh, all right, stop. Damn it. You, you dug such a big hole right there. I don't know if you're going to be able to get out of that. Ah. Uh, fuck, man. It's just that we have no tire grip in the back because there's so much weight back there right now. See how it's literally lifting my truck off, guys. Several times it lifted my truck off the ground. I'm going to try to stuff some concrete underneath those tires and uh, see if we can get this thing emptied out. Uh, let's see if we can get some of this concrete here and place it under her tires. Um, I'm gonna get this piece right here, but I need my hands, so hold on. Um, it was so heavy and so packed in there that the stuff would not slide out. It wouldn't come out. So what up guys, we're still here. I am completely dirty and disgusting. 
I've been here for about three hours now, I would say. And we almost had the dumpster, and the dumpster was back over there, right? We were able to pull it out here. The trash dumped like halfway out, but it won't come all the way out. Something is stuck. We were gonna try to dump it further up here on the property. Uh, but then we fell in this hole here. It just, the trailer just sunk in this quicksand. So I'm filling it in with cinder block and whatever debris I can find around here that's not gonna puncture my tires. Um, and here's my strong wife carrying some block right now. But uh, we've been here for a long time, guys, digging with our hands, trying to get this crap out of the dumpster with our hands. That's not happening. So we have to be able to keep this trailer level as we're backing underneath it and we have a small chance of uh, still getting it out of here today. So I'll, I'll update you here in just a minute. I need to get to work. So um, after three hours of trying, we, uh, we gave up and we couldn't get it off the property. So now I have a dumpster, one dumpster there with trash halfway hanging out of it that just won't come out. It just will not come out and it would take me 24 hours to unload it by hand because there's dirt, there's concrete, there's um, um, metal fencing, there's all kinds of stuff that he said would not be in there. Um, and so this is where we're at guys. I went to my lawyer and basically denied everything that he said as far as um, you know ha having trespassing on his property. He, he said a bunch of bull stuff, bull crap stuff um, to try to like fight me on this case and I don't see any way of him actually winning this case but I don't know I've never done this before so it's really stressful um, and the fact that he is he is only willing to pay a couple of hundred bucks it's not enough it's not good enough I do have insurance on the dumpsters but he should have to pay for that not my insurance him his insurance uh, for completely destroying the dumpsters and and doing and putting stuff in it that he was not supposed to so anyway this is where the lawsuits at guys and uh, I'm gonna show you the rest of these clips here and I just wanted to get on and make a video about this because some of you might have been wondering what's going on with that lawsuit and this is kind of where we're at my I, I had to have um, my guy Richard sign an uh, oh I'm getting a call here I'm gonna go ahead and answer this call guys um, short, long story short, Richard had to sign an affidavit saying this and that and that and this and we had to, we have to send all this evidence over to the lawyer and uh, it's just a really stressful time so if you guys are watching this hit that like button, subscribe down below, uh, follow along on the journey and uh, find out what happens next. We'll talk to you next time. So update guys, unfortunately we had to leave the dumpster there, weren't able to get it out of the, uh, the hole, and uh, the, the shit just wouldn't dump out of it because he, com he, he stuffed it in there so much that it, it just wouldn't come out. We even had someone uh, that came back and asked us to help pull us out. Um, you know, we have the trailer still attached, we were able to obviously roll out from underneath the dumpster, but uh, that's all we were able to do. So. I'll let you guys next time I go there, we're gonna have to probably bring a tractor, uh, you know, a backhoe or something to scoop all the shit out and then um, pick it up from there. Thanks for tuning in. As always, guys, I'm fixing to edit this video and get it posted for you. Obviously, if you're watching this, it's already edited and put up, but I'm also working on day four here at the Rage Room. And um, as you can see, I'm sitting here right now waiting on customers to come around. <laughs> My wife is out running some errands with the kids right now and I'm just here chilling. Um, you know, always always thinking of new ideas and uh, different ways to market this business and staying on the positive side, you know. Speaking of positive guys, give me a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. This is Austin Hustler Hires. Peace out.